Hi everybody, uh, it's just a very quick video today. Um, I wanted to post up a video because I'm going to take part in the Wargamers Anonymous painting challenge. Um, for those of you who haven't seen this, I'll link the video in the description. Um, but over on the Wargamers Anonymous Discord, the Wargamers Anonymous is set up, um, there was a vote to do a painting challenge and the vote this time was for Command which is quite good because I was about to start work on this command anyway. Um, so there's a month to complete um, anything along the lines of commands, whether that's a big command base or just a single figure. Um, but uh, it's been a while. In fact, I think the last command squad I did was the Beckus commands. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing another one, but I decided it would be a good opportunity to work on the overall command for my Yorkist Wars of the Roses. So um, I'm using a much bigger base than I have for my other command bases and that's because he is effectively the commander in chief I mean he's, he's obviously he's going king this is the normal size base that I would use um, but I want this one to stand out so that, that's um, Falkenberg so you see I can normally fit four comfortably on there anything more than that gets a bit gets a bit crowded so for this I am going to be painting up Edward the fourth and the time period I'm going for is after he's been uh, effectively crowned or proclaimed king um, after um, his father was killed at the Battle of Wakefield and he went to London um, he was proclaimed king uh, but just prior to the Battle of Towton although I'll be using his Towton standard which I'll show to you in a second I want to have a a kind of a movie poster um, thing going on. If you look at all these movie posters for, for films, ensemble films, things like, I don't know, like the Avengers, X-Men, Star Wars, you kind of have this triangular um, sort of setup where the main character is quite big at the top and you have all these supporting characters around the bottom and they gradually get bigger and bigger and bigger. That's what I'm going to try to go for. So we've got Edward here. Um, this is the Perry miniature. And... Uh, He's quite a nice model, so he'll be sort of on here. And I'm going to build up the base on a couple of different levels. Um, so he's on a little hillock, then mounted standard bearer, which will be carrying um, his his standard. That's the long fishtail uh, ones, like Falkenberg's like here. So I'll be using Edwards, and his banner changed over time because he, when he became king, he had a different one. When he was Earl of March, he had a different one, um, and he changed just um, before Towton as well. Then we're going to have a standard bearer which is going to be carrying um, his livery. Um, so um, I haven't quite decided which livery banner yet but I've just used one of the plastic kits I've got lying around to just basically put together another standard bearer so he'll be on here. This isn't going to be the final placement. Then I can have another warrior here who is going to be done up um, in his livery. So he can be down here. A couple of casualties. Now I haven't decided yet if I'm going to paint these up as part of Edward's sort of retouring of bodyguards who have been killed or whether these are going to, I'll paint these up in the colours of some Lancastrians who have run forward and been polished off. And then we have two, two guards to go with him with this very nice uh, guy with his helmet off. Possibly could be, if it was a later period, it could be his brother, Richard, but um, he was only about six years old, I think, at this time. Um, and then another one here so not final placement but it's going to be don't want it to be too busy um, but that's what's going to be going on but once I've got the levels built up it should look quite nice um, and then I've got the banners so that top one there with the bull that's um, the Towton banner so that's the one I'm looking forward to using and so I'll be um, using that and then I have the uh, the livery standard and it'll either be this one here this one here I'm tempted by this one here um, so we'll have to see which one to do um, I'll keep a look at these going um, through the month as I am um, as I crack on with it um, in the meantime yeah I hope you're all well and um, I'll just keep you guys posted as things go on cheers <laughs> 